Hello everybody, my name is uh, Joe Guy, and welcome back to Fallout New Vegas. In the last episode we were about to ascend a big metal staircase to try and find the voice of a mysterious ghoul in the Repcon HQ. And this place is riddled with, uh, with uh, ghouls as well, so you can be very very careful. Bad ghouls as well, frenzied ghouls. So now should we check my equipment, it's been a few months since I played, I think. I want to check on my status of my ammo. A -do 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 -do. No, not doing too well in the 20 gauge rounds. And the cowboy repeaters serve me alright. But let's just uh, carry on. Oh good. A dead ghoul. Uh, yet another bright brotherhood. I don't bother picking up those anymore. Actually, yeah, I just had a wee check to see if there's any way I could sort of lighten the load in my backpack a bit, but unfortunately there is not. It's, uh, it's full to bursting, and I feel like I'm only halfway through this place. Oh, are you here? All right, smooth skin. I'm letting you in. You better watch yourself. I'll sure as hell be watching you. Hmm. You and me both, friend, but let's just see what you have to offer. God, but are you ugly? Oh, shut Get your face. <laughs> and talk to Jason before I throw up just from looking at you. <laughs> uh, you're not a ghoul, I guess. I can't really tell. You're in darkness. Um, where can I find Jason? The great one can be found upstairs. Don't think about wasting his time. He's very important. You should feel lucky to be granted some of his time. Uh, okay. Something to do with the bright, so you're not a ghoul then. You're clearly not. My bad. We will eventually meet and talk to a ghoul. Uh, where did he say Jason was? I wasn't paying attention. I was too busy trying to see his face. But this does look a bit nicer. I, I saw somebody in the Bright Brotherhood robe over there. Hmm. Interesting. Scientific equipment. Something's going on here. How good if I know what it is? But anyway, let's go find Jason. I can just follow the mark on my on my map. Simon says he is through this wall. Jason. Hey there. Hi, Jason. You are a ghoul friend. Hello, wanderer. Please forgive us our humble surroundings. Our true home awaits us in the far beyond. Have you come to help us complete the great journey? A cult. Of course you are. Uh, I'm just being, I'm just curious, but um... Let's see. Uh... Who are you? I am Jason Bright. The prophet of the great journey. All the ghouls you see here are members of my flock. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> your last name is Bright, that's funny. It's uh, probably a name he gave himself, to be honest, followers of the Bright. Um, what's the deal with the human that let You're me in then? To Chris. I doubt you had much luck if you tried telling him that he's human. <laughs> we had the same discussions when he first appeared, and the same lack of success. He believes he is one of us. Soon hmm. enough we realized that Chris was a gift from the Creator. He is integral to the success of the Great Journey. Right. Um, okay. Well, I'm here because Feral Ghouls have been wandering into more about partially. I was just sort of curious, but... And they've been shooting them down like animals, haven't they? Mm-hmm. Those ghouls were members of my flock, even after the madness consumed their minds. We never let them wander free. We kept them safe on the first floor. We kept them contained. The demons must have let them out. Somehow. I see. And now they are lost forever. Denied the salvation and healing glow of the far beyond. Right. Please, Wanderer. Bear in mind that every feral ghoul you spare now is one that we can save later. Once the way is clear, our feral brothers and sisters will accompany us on the great journey. If there are any left. No promises, friend. If they come at me, they're going down. Are the demons, I believe, are the Nightkin. Is that what you're talking about? The demons appeared from nowhere. 
Except it might be more accurate to say they never actually appeared at all. Uh -huh. The demons are invisible. Where one of them stands, the most one sees is the air shimmering, like sunlight on water. It's called a stealth boyfriend. They friend. set upon us as we were on our way to worship one morning. We had just entered the basement. Right. My flock fought bravely and killed a few, but at such cost. Nearly half of us died or went missing. Right. The rest of us retreated up here. One of the demons raved at us, but they have not tried to attack us since. Still, uh -huh. their demonic presence brought all progress towards the great journey to a standstill. But now you have come. Once again, the Creator has sent a human to help us across a seemingly insurmountable obstacle. Okay. Okay. Um... Yeah, you say one of the demons raped at you? Yes, over the intercom. Threats of death should we step outside? Guarantees of safety should we stay locked away? Right. It went on for hours, and did not always make sense. But that was the first day only. Since then, silence. I can't... Will you drive away the demons, Wanderer? Ugh. Look, I, I imagine I'll say this eventually, but I really want to know more. Praise the Creator. Bless you, Wanderer. Bless us all. Yes. As soon as the underground has been rid of demons. Hey, 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 hey. Is the way clear? No. Luke, take it from the top, all right? What's the great journey? We wish to escape the barbarity of the wasteland, especially the violence and bigotry of its human inhabitants. Okay. The Creator has promised to my flock a new land. A place of safety and healing. A paradise in the far beyond. Uh -huh. Preparations for the great journey were nearly complete. Okay. Um, how will you make the journey? The means by which the great journey is to be accomplished are an article of faith. Not to be discussed with outsiders. Oh, you say so. Um, in the far beyond? I have glimpsed it only in visions, Wanderer, but what I have seen is truly miraculous. Mm -hmm. It is a place of light and healing, and I know in my soul that my flock will be safe there. Right. Well, I haven't dealt with the demons yet. I understand. I know you will fulfill your promise. Definitely a cult. Very, very obviously a cult, but uh, seemingly quite nice. When they said, are you going to help us with a journey to the great beyond, I thought it would be one of those things where I had to like poison their punch or something like that. <laughs> but uh, I'm more than happy to go kill some nightkin for you, or at least talk to them, maybe get their side of the story. I've never encountered a nightkin before in my life, so I don't really know if they are universally savage, but they I certainly do the look at... Has been rid of the demons. Jason. Ah. Chris. Go bother Jason, smoothskin. I don't like having you around. <laughs> Good riddance. Oh, Chris, what a tool you are. Isn't that just... Cults do seem to attract people which uh, don't haven't really found their place in the rest of the world. I guess it's just what happened to old Chris here. He didn't really fit anywhere, so he came all the way here. Ah. I'm detected, and if I use that, they'll uh, they'll get all mad. So Jason seems seems nice, kind of a little bit odd. Cool. Let's see what we can uh, up to rod. Okay. Um, from Emily Niminer. Hello, everyone. Please remember the kitchen is a privilege and not a right. Please keep clean up after yourselves. So remember that a clean kitchen is a happy kitchen. Please also remember that any food left in the icebox for that date will be thrown away every Friday evening. Okay. Um, Steve Reynolds. Greetings fellow Repcon employees. I'm happy to announce that we have finalized our deal with Robco. Starting tomorrow we will be an official Robco facility. Uh, most of you won't notice anything different aside from an increase in benefits. Okay, well, what's this? Uh, to Martin Neymar from Steve Reynolds. Hello Martin, first let me thank you for all of your years of dedication, dedicated service with me and the rest of our Repcom facility. Okay. Of course, yes. 
Face of Repcon is getting younger. According to my records, you've been fully vested in your pension for a little more than two years. Given the recent incident, I think this is an excellent time for you to retire gracefully. Um, could be referring to the takeover. Isn't that always the way? They say they're not going to change anything, but they change stuff because that's just what happens. You know, if they didn't need to change anything, then they wouldn't be making a deal with Robco in the first place. Um, I could probably quite safely... Oh, God. Put my gun away. Hey there. Hi there. See, ghouls in general, they're alright. They're just... Some of them are a bit jaded because they've become such a victim of prejudice. And let's face it, they aren't the most attractive uh, for people in the entire world. Um, but on the flip side of that, you find that certain types of strife do seem to make quite good characters. It builds character, I should say. Anyway, I'm going to have a wee nap. Just for an hour. And then we're going to go kill some Nightkin. Why not, eh? Ah, the barrel cactus fruit wore off. God, that lasts a while, actually. Um, let's actually go it this way instead. Do ba do do, do 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 do. Yep. This way. Um. They mentioned, however, and I might make a wee stop to do this. They mentioned that they worship in the basement. So I think it might be worth going to check out the basement. Just to make sure these guys are on the up and up. And they might well not be. you got to be careful about who you trust in the wasteland. People who seem nice, particularly radicals, can... Ugh, can... Uh, oh, Brahmin. Why would they have Brahmin in here? That's peculiar. Um, yeah, particularly radicals. Not always the most trustworthy sources. So is, could this be the basement? Oh, this is where they actually are anyway, so, yeah. Let's check my quest. Uh, ba -doo -doo -doo. Get rid of the nightkin in the basement. Alright, okay. Um, I think this is my shotgun. Let's use it. Okay. Going sneak mode. Oh, man. Nightkin are invisible. Thank God I've got ED his. His uh, perk is going to really help me out here. Um, I think, actually, under the circumstances, I could use up one of my many stealth boys. I am the knight! <laughs> okay, be careful. No nightkin as far as I can see yet. There's a, a non-hostile fellow over there. Edie! Edie! No! Edie, you anus. Oh my god! Hi! Die, please. Die, please. And... No, come on. Come on, come on. Ugh, a little bit faster on the old reload, if you wouldn't mind. Thanks, Edie. Okay, that wasn't so bad. That wasn't so bad. Um, not my dynamite, Cowboy Peter. Okay, Edie, I have told you, be passive. Okay, yeah. Are you being passive now? Good. God's sake! I already said that last time. Let's uh, keep on sneaking. No, no more of that freaking music, please. Okay, not seeing anybody. You're in here though, aren't you? Shimmer. In the air. What was that? I see you, buddy. Um, sneak attack! <laughs> works and still um, not even on caution lucky me no, I'm just no stealth boy for Joe uh, I am not really focusing on exploration right now because I think it's more important that I take out the nightkin so they don't flank me 
This stealth boy is lasting a while, actually. I'm pretty happy with it. Hmm. There must be another level up. That's what's over here. Hmm. Nada. Could there be a so-and-so down here? Looks like this might be where he is. Oh, stealth boy's worn off. Okay, that's fine. <gasps> Hi. What's that, Adler? We have a visitor. And is this Antler? <laughs> I say kill it, Antler, for safe sake. Wait, 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 hmm? wait, wait. Okay, Antler, I'll ask. Uh, hi, human. <laughs> Why you come here? Hi. Um, this is Antler, clearly. For God's sake, me. Uh, um, are you alright? You sound strange. I don't know if you sound strange for a nightkin, Mr. Davison. I am in command of my faculties, in command of my troops. Okay. Antler guides me in all things, as I in turn guide my kin. Uh, this doesn't sound like a very stable operation. Who is Antler? Who is Antler? Uh. Antler, the human asks about you. What do I tell it? All right. All right. Yes, yes, of course. Okay. Who Antler is not important to you. Antler wants that you deal with me. <laughs> well, that 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 uh certainly simplifies things. <laughs> me, I am devoted to Antler, but before Antler, hmm, Captain once. Captain. Last name Davison. First name. Don't remember. I commanded a troop of Nikon, the uh -huh. Master's elite. A great honor. Very proud. Something happened. We wandered the desert. Life without Master was hard. The others' minds going strange, going the others. crazy. <laughs> but then I found us new Master. I found us Antler. Okay. Since then, everything's been going really well. <laughs> you don't really sound that sure. Um. Uh, maybe I can help. No promises. Good. Antler brought us here for a reason. Why was that, Antler? Uh -huh. Right. A, a piece of paper. Shipment invoice. Hundreds of stealth boys sent here a, a long time ago. Right. But stealth boys must be in the one room. One we don't search yet. The one we can't search. Right. Why? Can't you search the last room? A ghoul, but not squishy like others. This ghoul is tough. Most schools are squishy. I thought Antler said, send my kin into that room, but three died. Ghoul is a crack shot and set traps too. Uh-huh. After I realized, I heard Antler wrong, so I locked the door to keep kin out and wait for Antler to tell me what to do. Okay. Then, you come along. Antler says you are solution. I could be. I will find this self boy stockpile for you if you and your kin leave this place. Does that sound good? Yes, Antler says we leave here as soon as we get stealth boys. Excellent. Let me give you key. Antler had me lock the door. The ghoul inside, not expecting a human. Maybe he don't shoot you. Maybe he will. Hmm. Sure thing, brah. Alright, ED come in. Rather we weren't flanked. So hello, Antler. Um, nice to meet you, Antler. Freaking crazy bastards. 